Hello, my name is Paul Weston, and this video is based on my book, which is available in the description box below. In late March 2020, some very strange things happened in Britain and parts of America, notably New York, uh, where officials immediately after declaring a public health emergency and locking us down, um, initiated an inexplicable policy with regard to the elderly and the ill, which at best could be described as criminal incompetence and at worst a mass murder. And the following graph effectively sums up what happened in 2020. And this data is sourced from the Office for National Statistics and the links in the description box below. It tracks total monthly death figures in England and Wales for every year between 2001 and 2022. And each year is represented by a different colour. Uh, 2020 is dark blue. And as we can see, between the beginning of January and the middle of March 2020, uh, the death rate was lower than the 19 preceding years. And deaths start to rise stratospherically in late March before peaking in April and subsequently dropping below and staying below uh, the 19-year average uh, from mid-May to the end of the year. And if we divide the year of 2020 into four quarters, uh, we see well below average deaths in Q1 and Q3, average deaths in Q4, and a huge bulge over a, just a six-week period of Q2. So clearly, something terrible happened in early spring of 2020, and how can this be explained? Well, very easily is the answer to that. The government ordered us to stay at home in March, and they locked us down. And an immediate consequence of this uh, is that people with family members in care homes could no longer visit them. And Chris Whitty, Britain's chief medical officer at the time, told us that the virus presented a serious threat of death mainly to the elderly. And Matt Hancock, Britain's uh, uh, comedy health minister, comedy, that's not the right word for Matt Hancock, uh, told us he would erect a protective ring of steel around the care homes. Well, Hancock did just that, but the ring of steel was intended to keep just one section of the population out, and that's people with aged relatives in the care homes. And it seemed to be supremely important to the government that we could not visit the care homes to see what was going on. And we all know what was going on, of course, after a national death rate lower than it had been for the last 90 years between January and March, the government ordered old and ill people to be decanted from hospitals into the care homes. And the government, wickedly, criminally, to my mind, told a number of state-funded care homes that future funding was entirely dependent on their accepting untested and COVID-positive tested oldies into the homes. And the absolutely inevitable then inevitably happened. Tens of thousands of old people died very quickly. A six-week flurry of mass deaths in the care homes that we were prevented from visiting. And Amnesty International released a report on this extraordinary consequence of curious government action. And they... Uh, amnesty didn't go quite so far as to accuse the government of mass murder, but they veered pretty close to it when they talked of government violation of human rights. And the link to the amnesty report is in the link below, and you should read it, and you should seethe with rightfully vengeful anger. And if you cast your mind back to January 2020, the pandemic was already being talked up by Western governments. It was lethal, they told us. Millions would die. But despite all of the COVID horror porn, there were no deaths. Everything was normal. April 2020 fixed that. The deaths were found. We told you it was lethal, they said. Look, here's the proof. 30,000 deaths from COVID-19 exclamation mark and on the back of that the lockdown was extended for the rest of the year and we were not told of course that the vast majority of deaths took place mainly in the care homes we were not told the dead came only from the very old with at least three pre-existing life life-ending medical conditions we were simply told uh, that a great plague was sweeping the land and that we were all vulnerable 
Now, what happened in our care homes in spring 2020 was was definitely evil, uh, but it gets worse. And in my next video, uh, I will discuss the actions of Matt Hancock and the unprecedentedly high use of midazolam and morphine in the care homes at the precise same time, which is spring 2020, at the precise same time that the illegal blanket do not resuscitate notices were issued without the knowledge of the care home residents' families, uh, all of whom, of course, were rather conveniently, a uh, courtesy of lockdown, barred from visiting the care homes. And I know I've mentioned this several times, but it really is a point of supreme importance. The founding and continuation of the government's response to the COVID-19 pandemic was entirely, entirely dependent in spring 2020 on sealing off the care homes from questioning family uh, and indeed doctors.